Hey guys, Mr. Mises here, and and this is uh, this is going to be quite a short video, and we're going to look at graphing quadratic functions in standard form. And just so you have a little bit of background here, I've already done graphing quadratic functions in vertex form. So we're just going to apply the same idea that we did in vertex form in standard form. So if you haven't taken a look at that video, make sure you go back and take a look at that video, and then that'll kind of clear up some questions that you might have on this video. So here is a quadratic in standard form, and the vertex is going to be negative b over 2a, and then that's going to that's going to give our x value, and then we're going to plug that value in for x, and that'll give us our y value. So f of negative b over 2a. Um, we know that if a is is uh, negative, then the uh, the parabola is going to go down, and we're going to have a maximum on top. And we know if it's uh, positive, we're going to have a minimum on the bottom. That's going to open up. Did I say open up? I meant open down. So this is going to open down here and open up here if it's positive. So I'm just going to do a couple of examples, maybe one example in a practice problem for you to take a look at. So let's take a look at our first one. So uh, let's go ahead and label these. This is A, this is B, and this is C. And we're going to go ahead and use our negative B over 2A to find our X, right? because we need to find our vertex first, and then we need to graph this. So our vertex is gonna be negative 16 over two times negative two, which is gonna give us positive four. So that's our X value of our vertex, positive four. We're gonna plug this four in to X to get our Y value. So F of four, it's negative 2 times 4 squared plus 16 times 4 minus 31. All right, we're going to plug all that in and add it all together. And when all is said and done, we're going to get 1. So our vertex is 4, 1. So we're going to go ahead and plot that. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. It's right here. Now we know that our vertex, our parabola is going to go down. So the method that we use to graph these in vertex form is that we chose a value that's what, either one less or one higher than four. So I'm gonna go and choose three. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to find f of three now. So I'm gonna plug it in. And when I compute that all out, I'm gonna get negative one. So my next point, I'll put this in red here, my next point is three comma negative one. So I'm gonna to go to three, okay, three comma negative one, it's right here. And I know that if I have this point on this side of this vertex, I have to have another point exactly the same distance away. Um, now, if I wanted, I could also do another point. I can do f of 2, so we go one more down. Oops. Okay, and if I did that, I'm going to get negative 7. Okay, so I got another point that is uh, 2, negative 7. Okay, so 2, 7's down here. Okay, I gotta do the same thing that far. And I'm gonna go ahead and graph my parabola. Okay. Oops, wow, that's not a very good curve. Okay, so there's my parabola if I graph it. Now, one thing, there's actually a little trick that you can use to find these points. And the trick is to do um, over one and down whatever A is. Okay, so you're gonna go over one, down one, two, and that'll give you your first point. Over one, down one, two, that'll give you your next point. Because that's, that's what um, A is negative two, so we know it goes down, so down two. And then if you want to get the next point, it's over one and down three times whatever A is. So in this case, um, three times two is six. So we're gonna go down six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my next point. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my next point. So the trick is, it's always, it's one, three, five, seven. If I wanted to do it again, find my next point, I would go one over and then down five times whatever A is. All right, and that'll give you your next point. Okay, so that's the trick to, to graphing these parabolas. Let's take a look at another one. The next one's a practice one. Okay, so find the vertex by doing negative b over 2a, which is negative 10 over 2 times 1, which is negative 5. Plug in negative 5, so we want f of negative 5. Negative 5 squared plus 10 times negative 5 plus 23. Okay, it's going to give me 25 minus 50 plus 23, which is going to give me um, negative 2. Okay, so 20, 30, 48, yeah, negative 2. Okay, so my vertex is going to be negative 5, comma, negative 2. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, if I, I could either plug in f of negative 4, Okay, if I plug in negative 4, we're going to do this really quick here because you'll see what happens. Okay, I could use, or I could use my other trick. My other trick was, uh, this point is, this is a 1 right here, so I'm going to go over 1 and up 1. Over 1 and up 1. There's my next points. Okay, so I know this is going to be a negative 1 here. And then if I did it again, I'm going to go over 1 and up three because it's three times a and in this case a is one so it's three so it's up three okay over one up one two three and then I draw my parabola all right it's a little trick okay um, there's really no rhyme there's there's a rhyme of reason for it but that's you know you can only need to know what the trick is there all right so, and again, if I wanted my next one, I would go one over and then up five. One, two, three, four, five. And this is my new point. And notice here, it connects there. Okay. So there's my parabola for that. And that's all I got to do about that one. All right. We'll see you next time.